everyone. Thank you so much, everyone, for joining us today. Thank you to Facebook particular for making this possible. Thank you uh, to a special thank you to Mayra, Mayra Vasquez and Gabriel Sutton. Gabriel's in charge for economic impact with Boost with Facebook for the region of North America. Thank you to all of you for making this possible. Also, um, thank you to all of you for joining us today. This is, this is going to be super relevant information nowadays. My name is Adrian Rodriguez. I am a business advisor with the Illinois Small Business Development Center at the Illinois Hispanic Chamber of, of Commerce. Under the leadership of the CEO, Jaime Di Paolo, and the Illinois is BDC Director Silvia Bonilla. And with the support of my colleagues, Loli Toledo and Esteban Perez, thank you to all of you. As you know, here at IHEC, we are here to help. And that's what we do. Just to give you an example, recently we conducted a survey, an annual satisfaction survey to all our members and clients in all our business owners community. And we found that one third of all that community get information, relevant information for their business operations through Facebook. Facebook has been the main channel of communication with our, our, our people. So that's why we found we think this is really important to have this webinar. Also, we had an efficiency in 2020 of 87% when helping people to accessing financial resources. That means that nine out of 10 people that we assisted actually got financial resources. That means that information that you can see on Facebook, a post, can be translated into actual financial resources. Those are big numbers and that's a huge impact. Nine out of 10 people were was successfully assisted. That's amazing. And thank you, Facebook, for, for helping us doing our job. Thank you for helping us helping. Also, according to SCORE, 73% of small business owners, for them, the top priority is to find new customers. And that's why it's really important to manage your online presence on Facebook and really understand why and how to advertise through Facebook. And beyond that, it's, it's really important to make decisions based on evidence. Evidence and data, it's, it could be really complicated. That's why Facebook has really important tools, really useful tools to get data and go out and find those new customers most, more likely in, my, in, this, in this session, in this period of time, in this pandemic. So that's why it's really important for us to have uh, this webinar. Thank you all, all of you again for joining us. Again, uh, let me go do some really quick housekeeping questions. You can go ahead and submit your question, comments, and all and or any 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 suggestions in the chat box or in the Q and A box that you have at the bottom of your screen. Also, there will be a poll session. There will be a, a poll, two polls during the session. You can go ahead and answer. You will have the live results for you as well. So once again, thank you to all of you for joining us today. We're excited and happy to have Facebook uh, helping us, helping you. Also, let me go ahead and introduce you to our speaker. He is Gustavo Marrero. Gustavo is a community engagement coordinator from Facebook, and we're glad to have him here on board. Thank you again, Gustavo. Please go ahead. Hi, Adrian. Can you hear me? Yes, we can hear you. So I'm really excited to be with all of you today. Um, huge thanks to our partners at Illinois Small Bus Business Development Center at the Illinois Hispanic Chamber of Commerce for inviting us today. So thank you for making this possible. We are super happy to be sharing our knowledge with the amazing small business community of Illinois. Let me start sharing my screen. As uh, Adrian mentioned, my name is Gustavo and I work for the small business team at Facebook. I am really excited that you all took the time out of your busy days to learn more about the different Facebook tools, and these will potentially help you grow your business. Today, we'll be discussing about advertisement on Facebook, and this includes thinking about your business goal and how to create campaigns, defining your ideal audience, and even more important, 
it is really important for business owners to know this because that way you can create content that will target the right people. Keeping all of this in mind, we'll help you understand insights and metrics on both Facebook and Instagram. And finally, we'll be looking at one of our newest tool, Facebook Business Suite, and how this tool can help you manage your online presence, including checking out metrics of your accounts. But before getting into a training, let me share a little bit about myself. I grew up watching my mom and aunt run their own business, and I have witnessed the various joys, juggles, and struggles they have experienced. With the entrepreneur mindset I inherited from them, years later, while I was in college, I decided to start a nonprofit to help rescue and place homeless animals up for adoption. One of our biggest challenges at the beginning was building a social media following, reaching the correct people that were willing to adopt and effectively managing all communication across Facebook and Instagram. Knowing what I do now, I would go back and learn about all the different Facebook business tools that are available. So I'm looking forward to sharing helpful information and tips with all of you today to get you up and running with Facebook ads and Facebook Business Suite. So now let's get started with the first topic of the day and we'll be discussing how to create an ad from your Facebook page. But first, I would like to ask the audience one question. How many of you has used ads before? So feel free to put your answer in the Zoom poll. Is the poll running, Adrian? Oh, now I see uh, the numbers here. That, that's awesome. Yes, we're almost there. Nice, I, I see it. It's, it's almost half and half. That's awesome. I see more or less like half of half, 55, 45%. So for just want to say that for those of you who haven't used ads before, I will show you now how to create them. And for those of you who already know about ads, you will be surprised that there's a lot of ways that you're, to make your ads and campaigns more effective. And I will be talking about this as well. So now, so now guys, here's the game plan for this first part of the training. First, we'll be going to discuss the value of advertising your business on Facebook. Then we'll dive into how to create an ad from your Facebook page. And lastly, we'll give you ideas on how to plan your advertising campaign. To start off, you will be asking yourself, why is it beneficial to advertise your business on Facebook? When you advertise your business on Facebook, you can reach people beyond the page followers you already have, and it makes it possible to create new strong relationship with potential customers. You can do this by creating ads from your Facebook page. In addition to reaching more people, ads can also help you achieve your business goals, whether that is raising awareness of your business so that people learn more about your products or services, it also help you, helps get your business in front of the people that could potentially attend to your online events. And of course, it can also help you out if you want to drive more online sales. So whatever your goal is, you can create ads that can help you achieve it. Now that we have talked about the value of advertisement on Facebook, let's take a look at the steps on how to create an ad from your Facebook page. The first step to is sorry, I'm the first step 
is to set your ad goal. Choose an objective that will help you achieve your business goal. Second, you will need to add your creative. Your ad can be broken up into three different components. First, you'll have your caption, then your visual, and a call to action button. A call to action button incentivizes your viewers to take a particular action, whether that be book now or learn more about your business. For step three, you want to define your audience. So here you want to think about who your customers are and what would motivate them to purchase your product. For step four, you will set up your budget and duration of your ad. Here, you will decide how much you want to spend on your ad and how many days you would like it to run. And lastly, for step five, you will choose your ad placement, whether that be Instagram, Messenger, Facebook, or across all the three platforms. Now, let's dive into each of these steps, starting off from choosing your business goal. As you get ready to advertise on Facebook, make a plan. When thinking about your goal, ask yourself, what do you want to accomplish with your ad? And what does your business hope to achieve? The answer to these questions will help you choose the right ad objective as you go forward. Here are three ad goals that a lot of businesses tend to use. For example, if you want to increase awareness of your business so that more people get to know your business, you can choose to promote your page. This means that if someone clicks on your ad, they will be redirected to your Facebook page to learn more about you. Secondly, you can always choose send more messages if you want people to actually get in touch with you. When they click on this ad, a chat box will open and you can start a conversation with the person. Lastly, you want to get if you want to get more newsletter, newsletter subscribers, or you just want to get customers email to send promotions, you can choose get more leads as your goal. If the person clicks on this type of ad, it will allow them to fill out a form with the relevant information you may need from them. Now let's move to step two of the process. And this is where you add your creative. First off, we know creative is tough and small businesses most times don't have the time, resources, and budget to spend in developing, developing great creative, but it is still super important. So for this step, make sure that you are choosing an eye-catching photo or a most watched video that can really engage your customers and make them more interested in your business. An easy way to do this is to a text that, that will best complement that visual and lead customers to take the action that you want. There are, three there are different formats options to choose from when it comes to adding your visual. But here are the three I want to focus on today. First, being the image. And this is a great way to catch people's attention. And you want to make sure that you are focusing on a single-minded message. As we see here, the woman's pink hair color is very vibrant and it really draws people's attention. By focusing on one particular aspect of your business, it can make it easier for your customers to know what they can look forward to. All things considered, remember to keep it simple and show what your business does. Second, we have the video. It is also a great format to catch people's attention because it is actually moving at heat. It has more engagement. When it comes to having a video, you want to make sure that you are designing for sound up. Sometimes when people are scrolling through their feeds, they may not have their audio on. So you don't want them to lose the value of your ad because they cannot hear it. An idea to get around this is to try to use buzzwords, adding caption to make sure that the message is getting delivered. Lastly, you can run ads on stories. And personally, this is my favorite, guys. The great thing about this is that you can experiment with framing. As we see here, it takes the full real estate of the viewer's phone screen, which means that they are not distracted with anything else except for your ad. Now, moving forward to step number three, 
This is where you want to make sure that you define your audience to be able to target the right people. Think about who you want to reach and what your ideal customer looks like. For this, try to identify the common interests and characteristics of your typical customer and use that information to create an audience of other people like them. You will also want to think about narrowing down your audience. This will make it a lot easier for you as you are selecting your audience when creating your ad. To help define your target audience, it is important to ask yourself the following three questions. First, what needs do my typical customer have? Now guys, I've been talking a lot here. So I think I'm gonna ask you a random question because I want to get to know you better. How many of you have a sweet tooth like me? One of my favorite desserts is ice cream. So would you mind typing what is your favorite dessert? And if it's ice cream, please type ice cream all caps on the chat window. All right. I, for some technical reason, I'm not able to see the chat window, but I hope that you all at least, or at least one person said ice cream because it's my favorite dessert. So since I love examples and I think they can improve the learning experience, let's, let's use one example for, for this slide here. Let's assume we own an ice cream shop. And let's say, let's assume obviously like the people are going to, to go to your business, they want to order ice cream or want something sweet. So this is a particular need that your business is able to serve. And this is to answer question number one. The second question that you wanna talk about or do you wanna think about is what are some characteristics or interests that are shared across your customers? For people that are coming to your ice cream shop, probably they have sweet tooth, like sweet things, or may also be parents who have children that really likes ice cream. These are the particular characteristics or interests that your customers may have. Lastly, you want to think about what motivates your typical customers. What is going to give them that extra push to buy your product or subscribe to your service? Using our sample, this could be a promotion like buy one ice cream and get another one for free. You want to think about these three particular questions because it will help you to better understand your audience and how you can serve them. Now, I want to do a quick pause here because this part is really relevant to one of the questions we got from you during registration. The question was around how to reach more people and in general, how to make your marketing dollars work their hardest. The key here, the key here is to know your business objective and your ideal customer. As you saw from a previous slide, there are different ad objectives available in Facebook and you should align it with the ad objective. This could be either lead ads for lead generation, awareness campaigns to get people to know your business or to promote your page. Even you can boost an event to get more signups. The other key aspect of great marketing is making sure that you are targeting the correct people. This is where these slides comes handy. Defining your audience will help you target the right people, the people who are more likely to have an interest in what you offer. In addition to these three questions, I also suggest looking at a few other things. 
such as location-based targeting. For example, if you have your ice cream shop, probably the people that are gonna visit you are locals from the area. So you can specify to target people in, your, uh, in that area. Also consider demographic-based targeting. These are things like their gender, language, and finally, look at interest-based targeting, which is what they're interested in, such as likes or what they have interacted with before. Continuing our example, people that go to your ice cream shop probably like sweet things and or our parents. The questions here helps you develop that target audience and will also help you create the appropriate message of your campaign. So to summarize, having a clear understanding of your goal and what you, you want to accomplish, in addition to knowing your clients, are two key things for a successful marketing campaign. Now, let's go to the next step of the process. And this is where you want to think about your budget and duration of your ad. If this is your first time running your ad, we recommend running your ad for about seven to 10 days. This will give your ad enough time to run and learn what's best for the delivery optimization. Then you will also want to add in your budget. And again, if this is your first time running ads, we recommend to start small and then you can adjust from there. Whether that would be $5 or $50, it is really important that you start trying this and because this will help you learn what best works for your business. Lastly, the last step of the process, you will need to determine where you want your ad to appear. And depending on the objective you choose, your customer can see your ads on Facebook, Instagram, and Messenger. As you start advertising, you want to keep in mind the ad life cycle. When running advertisement campaigns, the first thing is the create stage. And as we mentioned, before, here is where you want to keep in mind your business goals, select your objective, add your visuals. You want to target the right people, choose your budget and duration of your ad, and finally, your ad placement. All of these steps take place on the create stage. When you're ready to go, you hit publish, and then your ad will run. In this stage, it is really important that you don't touch it, don't touch your ad, to allow it to complete the learning phase so that it optimized for the best way to deliver it to your audience. This leads us to the review stage. After your ad has run, you can see what has best worked for your ad. Here, you might find, for example, that you got more engagement Tuesdays or Thursday. You may also learn here that you notice that you got more engagement with your video ads over image ads, images ads. The the, this phase is key because it will allow you to apply, apply these learnings in the refine stage, where you can adjust and refine to what has worked best so that you can create stronger ads in the create stage. Think about this as an iterative process and an opportunity to learn what works best for your business and your customers. Here, I want to address another question that we received. This question was around how often should a small business reevaluate advertising strategies? I want to highlight two main things. The first one being your business objective. As you grow, your campaign goals will change. At the beginning, your campaign may focus on building awareness and acquiring new customers. Later, you may encourage your people to make a purchase or sign up for an event. Secondly, I want to reiterate on what we have talked about on this slide. When running campaigns, we recommend allowing your ad to run from seven to 10 days to make sure they complete their self-optimization for delivery. If you modify or change your ad, it will take the campaign back to the learning phase where it is not optimized at all. So unless you're 100% sure that a modification will help you, don't touch your ad, let it do its thing. Ultimately, use the insights as a tool to refine and adjust your future campaigns based on what has worked best for your business. So before we finish this topic, let's do a quick summary of the most important parts that you need to focus when creating an ad. First, 
We mentioned that ads can give your business value because you can reach people beyond your followers that you already have and allows you to build new relationship with potential customers. Then we dove straight into how to create an ad, keeping in mind your business goal, thinking about your ad creator, making sure it's eye-catching and engaging, selecting the ideal audience so that we target the people that are likely to have an action on your business. And then you want to also think about your budget and your ad duration. Remember here that you can start small and always aim for that to, to run your ad for those seven to 10 days. And lastly, the last step of the process is choosing your ad placement, whether that's Facebook, Instagram, or Messenger. After you do all this thing, it is also important to keep in mind the advertisement life cycle so that you can pivot toward what has best worked for you and make your ads stronger going forward. All right, everyone, that was great. We've made it to half of our session today. So now buckle up for our next topic. But before diving into our next topic, I would like to, to, have, to ask you another random question. I would like to know what platform you use the most for your business, if it's Instagram or Facebook. I'm seeing a couple of answers here. Facebook is the winner so far, 78%. Facebook, 33%. Instagram. So in this new topic, we're going to talk about how to get started with Facebook Business Suite. But first, really interesting your, your answers. I just wanna say that even if you, if you use more one or the other, or even both, Facebook Business Suite helps you manage your online presence and will help you save on time and I will show you how. Here's what we'll be covering for, for this session. We'll show you how to save time with Facebook Business Suite. Then we'll go over creating and managing posts on Facebook and Instagram. And we will also talk about reviewing comments and messages. And lastly, we'll go about how to understand your results across Facebook and Instagram. Facebook Business Suite is the new interface for businesses to access the tools they need to thrive across Facebook and Instagram. Business Suite offers tools that can help you manage your business online presence, including staying connected with your customers. With Business Suite, you can manage all of your activities from one place, giving you time to focus on other aspects of your business. With this tool, you can schedule posts and ads ahead of time, connect with more customers quickly and meaningfully with Inbox, and see the results and metrics across Facebook and Instagram. To get the most out of business, we connect your Facebook page and your Instagram business account if you haven't done so already. There are two ways to access Business Suite. From your desktop, log into the Facebook account associated with your business. Then if you're eligible, you'll be automatically redirected to Business Suite when you visit business.facebook.com. You can also download the Business Suite app. If you are currently using the Pages Manager app on mobile, you'll automatically see the option to opt into Business Suite. If you are not using the Pages Manager app, you can visit the App Store or Google Play Store to download Facebook Business Suite. Use Business Suite to keep up with both communities on Facebook and Instagram by posting content all from one place. With Business Suite, you can create and share new posts on both Facebook and Instagram, get a preview on how your posts will appear on both desktop and mobile versions before sharing them, and schedule posts to be published at a specific date and time. 
Business Suite makes it easy to plan and organize your content across Facebook and Instagram. As you plan your posts, keep these tips in mind. First, have a clear goal. Goals can help you focus on what you want to accomplish with your marketing efforts. Establish a business goal and use it to guide your post. Next, think about your audience. What problem does your business solve for your people? And create posts that illustrate how your products or services addresses the needs of your customers or clients. Next, set aside time to create and schedule content. Once you know what you want to post and where and when you want to post it, establish a process to create content consistently. You can either set aside time to do it once a week, shoot photos or video throughout your day or a combination of both. And finally, always preview your posts before sharing them to Instagram or Facebook to make sure that they look exactly as you want them to. Now let's try scheduling a post on Business Suite. First, tap the create post symbol of, from your home screen. Next, add your post text, media and other relevant components. And when you're finished creating your post, tap next. Tap on publishing options and then select schedule for later to ch and choose the tape, the time and date that you want your post to be published. Choose a date and time that makes sense for your core audience. Then you'll be able to preview your post and then if everything lo looks good, you just have to tap publish. Listen, we know how busy you are doing multiple things at, at the same time and it can be quite a challenge to manage your Facebook and Instagram from two different apps. This is why we designed Facebook Business Suite. We wanted to unify everything into a single place to help you with this. Facebook Business Suite can help you easily prioritize and manage your business activity throughout the day. You can view critical alerts, messages, comments, and other activities across Facebook and Instagram. By displaying all communications in one place, Business Suite help you stay connected with customers more easily, even when you're on the go. With Business Suite, you can track important updates on your Facebook and Instagram accounts, so, such as your audience engagement, on read notification, all of this from the Home tab. You can also respond to messages promptly using the Inbox tab. Here, you can monitor all the messages and comments you receive on Facebook and Instagram. You can also filter your inbox to see on read messages and mark messages to move them out of the main inbox. All of this can help you build better connection with new customers and strengthen relationships with existing ones. To help you save time when messaging customers, you can also create automated responses. For example, you could create a welcome message to greet people when they start a conversation with you, or an away message to let people know that you will respond later or that you are out of office. You can also respond with a safe reply for commonly asked questions. With safe replies, you can scale your messages and respond to more customers without to having manually write them all down. And your customers will not feel that they are talking to a robot. Use this feature to save answers to frequently asked questions such as what are your store hours, where do you ship to, and even to questions such as what's your return policy. So think about what are some of your business frequently asked questions and consider using safe replies to answer them. Now you may be wondering how to do this. So let's see the steps on how to create a safe reply. And if you have your Facebook business suite app, I invite you to follow along for this one. The first thing that you need to do is to go to a conversation with a customer. Then tap on the blue plus sign symbol on the left of the text box. From there, tap on save replies. Then click on the gray square grid in the bottom left corner of the screen. And then tap on the right symbol at the top right corner of the screen. For current and future responses, you can select a save reply to easily respond to customers even when you're on the go. 
then you will need to name your safe reply so that you can easily access the question category that your customer brings up. For this example, we could set up a safe reply called annual sale. Next, you need to type the reply that you want to cost your customers to receive when they ask you about annual sales. In this case, we'll write, hi, we're having an annual sale online. Visit us online and enjoy 30% off on your orders. When you are done typing your reply, tap save. As you saw, it is really easy to save a reply. And personally, I found it one of the most helpful feature of Facebook Business Suite. In order to grow your business, you need to know what's working and what's not. And this is still true for both organic and paid content. And Facebook Business Suite Insights allows you to understand precisely this. To better understand what's working, you can get insights on the performance of your post. Navigate the Insights tab to view insight metrics on reach, engagement, and how post, per and post performance across Facebook and Instagram. Here you will see metrics about trend on your Facebook and Instagram reach. You can see metrics by specific content and learn more about your audience, such as their gender, age, and the cities that they are located. Use the metrics shown here to see what's resonating with your customer, and then use this information to optimize your marketing efforts for each platform. Here are more insights you'll be able to view on Business Suite. See how your posts perform by, tacking, by tracking metrics, including reach, engagement, and reactions or likes. You can also click on a specific post for a more detailed inside view of that post. Here, you can see things like reach, which is the number of people who viewed your post. Also, we have reactions, comments, and shares, which are basically actions that people took on your post. And finally, we can see the number of clicks in your post. And these include link clicks and three second video views. Insights basically allows you to dig in how your post did. Use the information to learn what each community wants to see. Understand which posts and videos perform best on Facebook and Instagram. You can use what you learn here to customize, to customize your future content to succeed on each platform. Knowing and defining your audience will help you here because you will, you will be able to create content that is tailored for your audience. Also from here, you can boost your post and convert them easily into an ad if you want to reach more people. Now let's see how to do this from this tool. From the home tab, you can choose which post you want to boost to reach a wider audience. The first thing or the first step is to tap boost post on the post that you would like to turn into an ad. Next, see what your boosted post will look like or have a preview of it. Then you will need to define your audience, set your budget and duration, and then just tap on boost post now and you are done. As you saw, it is really easy to boost your post and it is a great way to create an ad. Perhaps as a starting point, try boosting posts that have performed well in the past to make the most out of that post. So no need to reinvent the wheel here. Now, let's take a look at a few key takeaways from this part of the session. First, remember that you can save time with Facebook Business Suite. This tool allows you to create and manage content on Facebook and Instagram, all from a single place. And always track insights on your posts and ads to learn more about your performance and learn what resonates better with your audience so that you can create audience-focused content. And remember that you can easily reach more people by posting your post. If you have a question about what I have talked about today, I highly recommend to check out Facebook Blueprint. There's a lot of helpful modules that can walk through step-by-step step on how to create an ad and learn other tips and tricks. Also, in Blueprint, you can find content in Spanish. 
if by default you see the English version of the site, just scroll down, go to the footer section, and you'll be the you will see the option to change it to Spanish. We are constantly uploading and adding more Spanish content material here. Continue your journey, your learning journey by, by joining the Boost with Facebook US group. This group allows you to talk to other businesses from across the nation and also receive one-on-one -on -one chat support. In the group, we announce new product updates and features, mention resources, training, other tips and tricks, and invitation to other digital events. Thank you all for watching, and I hope that you feel more inspired and motivated to start applying what you have learned today into your overall business strategy. If you have any questions, please uh, go ahead and ask. You can ask directly on the Q&A box at the bottom of your screen or you can ask directly on the comment sections. Uh, but thank you so much. This, now, all this information is so valuable. Thank you so much, Gustavo. Thank you for all, all these resources, specifically because most of, sometimes we can see that uh, those resources are out there. We see it, we, we all use Facebook. We see that someone, and maybe another business, maybe uh, the competitors are using it, but we don't know how to do it, where, where to click. So that information, that precise information and how to do it and how important it is, it's so relevant, most likely because you have you seen all those numbers, if you understand what's going on in the back, if you better understand your customer, you're more likely to fit the needs and see who who's gonna be the, how it's gonna look the next person that comes into your door, into your business. So that's why all this information is really important. So uh, please go ahead, if, in case you have any questions, please go ahead and send us through the, to the Q&A box or through the chat. Oh, now I'm able to see all the different desserts that people like. I see paletas, I see chocolate, tiramisu. Oh, we have red velvet cake. That's, that's definitely one of my top favorite as well. Oh, flan, you got me there. That's like my second, second top choice. But Adrian, precisely that, it is the key here, and I'm speaking to all of you, the key here is to have a, you know, have a clear understanding of what your goal is and match that goal with your ad objective. Then another thing that you wanna keep in mind is having a clear definition of who is your audience, because with that information in, in mind, two things are gonna happen. You're gonna be able to target the right people. That That is the people that are, probably more willing to take uh, an action on your business and also to target the content to what those people would like to see. And that potentially will mean on more engagement in your, in your social media. So that's why, you know, having an understanding of your business goal and understanding your people is so critical for your marketing efforts. And then now, if I may, I have some other questions that I saw that people sent out that I would like to address. So one of the questions that we got is around what have been some of the tools that have gained more popularity about the business owner since the pandemic began. It's super relevant nowadays. Since the pandemic began, we have seen a massive shift to online, which has proven vital for businesses to survive. There are a few tools and services that have really taken off. And some of those tools are Facebook shops. And basically, shops enable your business to offer a single shop experience that works on both Facebook and Instagram. You can customize your collections and showcase your products in creative ways. And with the correct settings, it could even allow your customer to complete a purchase without having to exit the application. Second, we have seen a rise in gift cards and fundraisers. Gift cards allow your business to generate revenue when your existing revenue stream are reduced or interrupted. And they are also another way for customers to support you. Gift cards can be used in fully or partially, and this could incentive, incentivize your customers to return back to your stores. 
I want to make sure that I also highlight fundraiser because it is always it always touches me how even in these difficult circumstances people come together as one and as a community to help out each other and for the causes that, ca that they care about. On Facebook and Instagram, people, including your business, can help raise awareness and motivate followers to donate for these causes. Another tool that we have seen an uprise is paid online events. And this one is really cool because it is a way of monetizing your live event through a one-time access charge that is collected when guests register to attend. And this is particularly useful for businesses that are looking to pivot towards the digital world and continue hosting their tutorial or classes online. And this could be even could be leveraged as a format that artists can use to make their performances. And as always, we have seen an uprise in personalized ads. Ads on Facebook and Instagram are very powerful and have been key to small businesses' success. Personalized ads, or also known as targeted ads, help small business grow by reaching customers that are more likely to be interested in their products or services. So you spend less to reach more people or more of the customer who matters the most to your business. As you can see, we at Facebook have been working on easy solutions that when combined together will enable small businesses to pivot quickly towards the digital world, to offer their services and products, and even allow them to have a virtual storefront. The next question we got was around hashtags and how to use them to maximize exposure. I personally use hashtags a lot. And I think it is a very creative way to basically discover and get discovered. Hashtag makes it easier for people to discover your business. And this can be used in posts and stories. Using hashtags will allow others to potentially see your posts or stories when they search for that hashtags. Now, if you are just getting started with this, our suggestion is to search for hashtag that you would use for your business and look how they are being used by other accounts. When searching for hashtags, start with broad terms and then narrow them down to your specific business needs. See what photos or videos people are sharing on those specific hashtags so that you can get ideas on how to use them. On Instagram, which is really cool, you can also follow hashtags if you want posts uh, with this hashtag to appear in your feed. We also suggest keeping a list of hashtags. And this is something that I do personally to make it easier to keep track of what hashtag you have used, rotate between them, and to find that perfect mix that will work for you. And you can check the insights to see what hashtags are working better and keep this in mind and use them the next time you publish content. Another question that I would like to address and uh, it was around Facebook Business Suite and its advantages compared to Hootsuite or other platforms. So I wanna be honest here. I'm not an expert on Hootsuite, but I know that it could combine multiple social media sites into a, into a single dashboard and may have a cost to use. But as you saw from the training, Facebook Business Suite is the new interface to help businesses save time and stay up to date by managing their pages or profile across our apps. It allows you to post on Facebook and Instagram at the same time, manage and receive messages, see notifications, see alerts on all in one place. So you can easily see what's working and learn what's resonating with your audience. The best part of Facebook Business Suite it, it is that it is free to use. This is the all-in-one tool that will help you thrive across Facebook and Instagram. Thank you for responding all those questions, Gustavo. We have two more questions from the chat, if you don't mind, uh, we, I, can, I can read it. If you recommend uh, for a new business, let's say you have a, th th this is a new business owner, is, will, will this business owner, it will be better for them 
to paid first or to start organic and then paid, what will be the order there? Then what, what do you recommend will be better? Start paying or go organic and then and then go into paid advertising? Uh, that's a, if I understand correctly the question from Alma Jauregui. And so, there's a question for Marisol that uh, do ads have a test feature before publishing? If you can actually test, uh, she forgot if, if you go over it. And I mean, that last question, and that's a recommend, I mean, that's a last question from Lonnie. Okay. How are we going to have this webinar in Spanish? All right, so let's start from, from the first one. I, I don't know why I'm not able to see the, the, the chat from, from the people, but taking the, the first question, whether to start with paid content or you know, doing, going more organic, it, it depends, it, <laughs> it really depends. Um, for example, in, in my personal case, with my organization a while ago, we, I was a student, so I didn't have a lot of money to spend on, on advertising campaigns. So I started everything organically without paying a cent. But definitely as, as we grew and people were learning more about what we did, then we started considering having those uh, um, paid content, especially boosting posts, because we saw, um, that some posts were were very very successful for the audience and then we start by creating ads out of those posts by boosting them so here it depends but definitely my suggestion for all of you here is that you start um you know uh, playing with all of these features and tools because when you start, then you're going to be able to start learning what is resonating better with your customers and clients and what is the, the content that your audience is going to see, which is really important. And then the other question was related to if there's like a test feature. Yes, if there's a, if you're and able I, to test. And again, Adrian, I know we only have like three minutes left. Uh, you you can you know uh, ask people to send the questions and 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 send them send them to to us. But to to answer that that question, when you are creating an ad, the the, the UI gives you uh, gives you like tools that I found to be helpful to see if you are like going like for a too broad audience or you are trying to focus on a very minimum small audience i once again thank you so much to facebook if you have any questions of course you can submit it through our through our email directly to info at ihc.net we can we can follow up we're gonna publish for the next two weeks this video will be published in our social social media so you can access this information we uh we appreciate and we're very grateful for all this information it's been information that as we said at the beginning it's been uh relevant for our business owner how to make an impact how to get to know our their new customers so thank you so much again facebook thank you again mara vasquez thank you ag again gabriel Tutan, and thank you to all of you for for helping us helping it's a, this has been difficult times. So this is why we have to improve and find new ways to get to our customers. Thank you again, on behalf of the IHC and to on behalf of the Illinois SBDC. Thank you so much. Sorry, Gustavo. Uh, I think we got you. Have you again? Are you? Yeah, I think you're muted. No, well, Adrian, thank you so much for inviting us today. Um, really happy and, and definitely i what i hope from this training is uh, that people feel more comfortable of trying out these different tools that are so helpful for businesses out there and can definitely have a positive impact in your in your business thank you thank you again facebook and thank you for helping us keep helping we are here to help have a wonderful day and once again, follow us on social media, especially Facebook.